£43.7 million industry and government funding for green car technology. Subscribe to Electric Vehicle News Bite Size Podcast for free. Electric motorcycles and an all-terrain 4x4 electric delivery van being developed for emerging markets are among the projects that will benefit from £43.7 million industry and government funding to support the development of the latest green vehicle technology while taking advantage of the world economic opportunities of the global transition to cleaner transport. The two projects are funded by the Advanced Propulsion Center, APC, Collaborative Research and Development Competition, which supports the development of innovative low-carbon vehicle technologies and will help the UK secure electric vehicle supply chains globally. These items are Project Zero Emission Norton, Sully Hull, West Midlands. £17.2 million, £8.5 million of the £43.7 million industry and government funding from the Advanced Propulsion Centre to develop an electric motorcycle that will provide a high level of racing performance and touring range, while not just improving the workforce and skilled employment opportunities for locals, but also helping to strengthen the UK's competitive supply chain. Ox delivers clean, clean logistics for emerging African countries, Leamington Spa, Warwickshire. £17.1 million, £8.5 million of the £43.7 million industry and government funding from the Advanced Propulsion Centre to develop a UK-made all-terrain electric delivery vehicle that can withstand harsh off-road conditions by using a durable, low-cost battery. The projects are expected to secure more than 550 jobs and reduce carbon dioxide emissions by 27.6 million tonnes, the equivalent of removing the lifetime emissions of 1.1 million cars from the road. Minister for Investment Lord Grimstone said, this funding, delivered through the government-backed Advanced Propulsion Centre, will support UK businesses at the cutting edge of the automotive industry to trial the very latest tech, from the development of electric motorbikes to off-road trucks. Supporting these strategically important technologies lays the path for our electric vehicle sector to compete on a global scale, driving jobs and growth nationwide whilst also creating cleaner, more sustainable modes of transport. In addition, 19 early proposals that could strengthen the UK's electric vehicle supply chain have received funding to study, demonstrate or improve a case for scaling up, potentially creating more jobs across the country. The feasibility study was supported by the Automotive Transformation Fund, ATF, with £9.4 million of the £43.7 million industry and government funding. Areas to be explored include the development of electric vehicle battery components and the feasibility of using key UK minerals. La Vista Energy Limited, London, investigating building Europe's first standalone lithium refining facility capable of producing battery-grade lithium. Niobolt Limited, Cambridge, assessing scale-up of the manufacture of high-power battery technology that enables ultra-fast charging without sacrificing the battery's lifetime or safety. LTS Transport Solutions, Queenborough, exploring the potential of opening a brand new electric vehicle battery recycling plant in the UK by 2024. The ATF was set up to accelerate the development of the electric vehicle supply chain and enable UK manufacturers to scale up production of the strategically important technology. ATF is provided by the Advanced Propulsion Center to support late-stage capital and R&D investments. Ian Constance, chief executive at the Advanced Propulsion Center, said, The projects receiving today's investment highlight the breadth of technologies needed to help the UK accelerate to net zero emissions. They're reimagining not just vehicles, but transport in general. It also includes 19 ATF-funded awards over a six-month period to research, demonstrate or improve the business case for scaling up car manufacturing, or to identify possible gaps in the UK in guiding business investment strategies. These items include Batteries Anode Deregulera Limited, Cardiff, Wales, with the Advanced Propulsion Centre forecasting a severe shortage of locally manufactured anode material over the next decade. Deregulera is poised to capitalise on this opportunity by turning to mass production of its sodium ion anode material in the UK. Large-scale investment in chemical plants has high risks, this project reduces the risk by exploring top-down and bottom-up production parameters, determining the optimal scale of chemical plants, and expanding existing technologies. The annual output can reach 10,000 tonnes. Echian Technologies, Cambridge, England, Project Sharp, sprinting towards high-value anode roadmap for large-scale UK production. Feasibility study will inform Ekian's high-volume anode manufacturing strategy and prepare a roadmap and business case to grow the UK battery manufacturing supply chain and secure the UK's international competitiveness in the field of advanced battery materials production. Niobolt Limited, Cambridge, UK, 
In this project, Niobolt is defining the requirements for a large-scale production facility to manufacture its high-performance automotive battery technology that enables ultra-fast charging without sacrificing longevity or safety. Talga Anode, Cambridge, UK, this project aims to develop a business case based on the feasibility of building a downstream graphite silicon refinery in the UK. Batteries, Cathode. Geothermal, Redruth, England. This project will develop the business case to finance a direct lithium extraction, DLE, plant to extract lithium from deep geothermal water in Cornwall. Levista Energy Limited, London, UK. Levista Energy brings localized, scalable lithium refining capacity to Europe. The Levista Lithium Center will produce battery grade lithium carbonate and lithium hydroxide, both of which are critical to accelerating the transition to energy storage to meet global demand. Northern Lithium Limited, County Durham, UK Northern Lithium, MLE, aims to demonstrate the economic case for investing in excess of £120 million over the next five to eight years to build large scale, sustainable brine recovery, processing, and delivery of Northern Lithium in the east of England. Weirdale Lithium Limited, County Durham, UK. This project will identify an investable business case for the recovery of lithium from geothermal brines collected from wells at Eastgate, Weirdale, County Durham. Batteries, Cell Assembly. Amp Power, Feasibility Study will provide technical and commercial business case for high-capacity battery factory. Industrial Tomography Systems Limited and University of Birmingham, Manchester, UK, its patented tomography technology has helped improve manufacturing efficiency in many industries. By the end of the project, it will have a proven tomography system design that can support the battery manufacturing process to improve product quality and overall yield. The project will benefit the UK Gigafactory in developing efficient production processes. Nanotech Energy Incorporated, US-based battery manufacturer Nanotech Energy, NE, will study the feasibility of expanding its battery manufacturing facility in the UK for its patented, high-capacity, non-flammable graphene batteries and other graphene-powered products. Ilica Technologies Limited, Romsey, UK, Ilica and the UK Battery Industrialization Centre are collaborating on this project to conduct an economic feasibility study to assess the cost of setting up a dedicated 100 megawatt hours solid state battery production line at the Yukbik facility. Batteries, recycling. Altilium Metals Limited, Tiptree, UK. This feasibility study will accelerate and support Altilium Metals' investment decision to develop a facility in the UK capable of processing 10,000 tons of end-of-life lithium-ion electric vehicle batteries, gigafactory scrap and electronic scrap by 2025. 4,750 tons of critical cathode metals can be recovered and given back to the electric vehicle battery industry. The site is the first of four designed to meet UK demand by 2050. Talga Anode UK Limited, Cambridge, UK. This feasibility study will assess the reuse of spent graphite anode material to produce high surface area graphite and graphene like materials and develop a business case for further investment in the concept. LTS Transport Solutions, Queenborough, UK. LTS Transport Solutions is studying the economic feasibility of opening a new battery recycling facility in the UK by 2024. Power Electronics. Enex Microtechnologies Limited, Newcastle upon Tyne, UK. This project will enable Enex to fully research and develop a business plan to maximize opportunities in the automotive sector for UK compound semiconductor suppliers, with a particular focus on gallium nitride as available. Please give Electric Vehicle News Bite Size Podcast a 5-star review. Subscribe to the Electric Vehicle News Bite Size Podcast for free on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Overcast, Deezer, Breaker, Castbox, Pocket Casts, Radio Public, Stitcher, Amazon Music, Audible, Ghana, Samsung Podcasts, Google News and the Electric Vehicle News Bite Size Alexa Skill. For more articles and episodes visit car rental industry and massive transition to electric vehicles. Subscribe to Electric Vehicle News Bite Size Podcast for free.